State experiences a lot of climate change issues. I'm talking of issues of uh, displacement uh, uh, that is so prevalent in the state now due to the head of farmers crisis and people have moved to locations they were not habiting before. We are here, there's no hospital. As we are living here, women, we are finding it difficult to wash our clothes. We are finding it difficult to eat, like food. If we get food, man, all in our problem. Presently in our country now, if you can observe critically, you can observe education, our children, education is very Displaced persons' livelihoods, sources of uh, livelihoods have been uh, also destroyed. They are farmlands, they are largely farmers. So they don't have anything, they depend on uh, uh, what uh, government and other partners are provided. We are supporting climate inclusive policies and we are working with the UNCT, with, the, with those with the mandates in their programmings, when they're implementing, to look at how climate impacts on human rights and how climate-related incidents or movements can pose particular risks to certain groups that are often overlooked. Um, this includes, of course, um, older persons, but it also includes young people, many of whom have to be displaced from their schools, from their communities.